What's good, YouTube? We're back with another market watch. Yes, another one. But first off, I've got to say things are a little crazy this week. I don't know exactly the answers on a, a card. Uh, so we're going to get to that in a bit. But first off, Digusto Emerald. Uh, we have the DT spiking very, very high. Uh, you might want to sell yours now, but it's going to be used through Zodiac format. So if you want to use it yourself, keep it because... I don't know if it's going to fall from this price for the DT for a while, and a lot of people are thinking about using two. Gold Rare is up from $18 to $21, and, and an Arsenal sold out. And very similarly, and an Arsenal lowest is now $34 over here, and $50 is the only two. So a complete buyout on the Secret Emerald. I don't think that was natural, even though it was such a high price card, but they're all gone, so... Uh, Secret Emeralds, if you want to list yours now and sell it, you might go to TCG Player and put it at 30 or uh, eBay and list it at 30 depending on what you want to do there. It's definitely very, very interesting to see it just rise that fast when the gold version is still there, but there's a... Uh, is that only four? Okay, four sellers, but a total of two, three... Eight, nine copies. That's that's not a lot on market. Let's let's go ahead and check this. P goal three. Nine results. Uh, there's quite only one left for this guy too. Wow, Emerald might be gone. You, if you're playing competitively, get your gold rare now. Uh, try to trade a friend, but uh, if you don't have a friend who has one, I might actually just go online. And buy it now because if you're playing competitively and you're playing Zoo, you're going to need this card. You're going to actually need it. Like, I don't see a reprint on the horizon. So with all the copies starting to get sold out and bought out, and even though it's a high quantity card with multiple versions, it's still a hard card to get and always has been. I mean, how many gold rares on release stay at $8 and keep going up? Not many. So, uh, Pot of Greed Ultimate Rare. Not the pot you probably thought you would see on here. Rank 10, please tell me what it does. Pot of Greed Ulti is lowest 49 here with a seller way to try to hope for 100. Kind of funny. Uh, I, I don't think they'll get it. But, 49 lowest here and then the 40 best offer. I guess that uh, got messed up when I refreshed. So, oh. <coughs> they have... <laughs> $8 shipping, wow. I guess it takes $8 to ship your card. Uh, but realistically, they're just doing that for old school methods of eBay that don't matter anymore, I guess. You see the big bold price, then you get disappointed when you see the shipping. But yeah, so uh, the lowest overall are $49. So what do you guys think? Pot of Greed Ulti could be a $50 card? That's, that's pretty insane to me. Like... Pot of Greed Ulti, I get it. It's it's a real nice looking thing. Last I knew it was 18. We see the normal at 12, so this is actually a recent occurrence. Let's let's go look at the sold listings. Let's let's investigate, kiddos. Uh, let's price for shipping lowest first. End date recent first. Let's see what they most sold for. 19, 19, yeah, 18 like I thought. So uh, the highest sales are like 20. And it was about 18 like I thought it would be. Don't go out buying this fast, but go ahead and list yours lowest and see if you sell it. If you want to get rid of your pot of greens. Flying C back down, down, down. We reported on this the last market watch. It was super hype. And TCG player already way lower than eBay. We'll see that on a lot of hype trends. TCG will spike up higher than eBay really fast and then spike back down lower really fast on the uh, sellout trends. So really interesting to see it all the way back down to $4 already. But again, if you had missed out on buying them for dollars, you can be a little salty, that's okay. But all versions look to be sticking about a dollar on uh, TCG. And that's not that common for a common, so with that many versions, that's pretty cool. And $7 still over here on eBay. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I, I have no clue. Scrap Recycler buyout. Scrap Recycler hype. I, I don't know, guys. I have no clue for once. I'm, I'm speechless. Like, it's at a dollar. You can't even machine dupe this. Like, I don't know what's going on. Is summon shrink machine dupe? 
I have no clue. But seriously, it's at 450. It's got a good effect. It's always been good. I've always picked it out of bulk. When this card is normal or special summon successfully, you can select one machine type monster from your deck and send it to the graveyard. Pretty good. Once per turn, you can return two level four earth machine type monsters in your deck to draw a card. Uh, on eBay, a listing says Crystrons. Nobody's hyping Crystrons. But the lowest on eBay now is $3 too. And uh, even though I put, let's put Yu-Gi-Oh. These these are all the ones that exist. There's a playset at two something a piece. And yeah, man. Uh, I I don't know what's going on, guys. I have no clue. So very similarly, I actually don't know what's going on with Queen of Autumn Leafs. TP card completely sold out. Uh, people are saying that it might do something, and I have no clue what it might do. But there's only one listing on eBay as well. TP commons get this way sometimes, especially TP 1 and 2. But uh, I don't know what a level 5 normal is going to do. It's not like you can rabbit it or anything, so I'm very confused on that as well. Ritual Sanctuary all the way down to $3. You remember this was $10. If you've been waiting to get it, now would be the time. This is about the lowest we'll see it ever. Such a good card for so cheap. And we see that it's $3 over here as well. Free shipping! It doesn't get much better than this, guys. Like, look at... the, the I think they actually get more support coming out. Uh, Ritual Sanctuary. And then Ben 10 being at 240. Like, this, these are pretty much all times low lows. Even though you see 207, quote-unquote, normal. Like, these are pretty much all-time lows for these cards. And we see on eBay it's about just as cheap. So, I would expect these to probably go back up a little with new support coming out for them. But... I guess the new support just doesn't validate it enough, but this is cheap. This card was so hard to get. Even for $10. If you had $10 and you were trying to buy it a while back, you couldn't get it. And it's such a good looking card too. It really is. I, I don't know guys. What's what's going on here? This is this is weird to me. Like $3? We, we, uh, I don't know guys. I guess it's been there for a while. But to me, this is a pretty much an all-time low for this card, and I might pick some up myself. Uh, it's rare that I say that, but I think I'm going to go trade for some, or uh, try to get some locally, and maybe somebody will give me them cheaper. Uh, I did not cover Vermilion Mech Dragon when it spiked because of Zulkin, and look, already back down to 370. It's even lower than the normal. Uh, yeah, it, hype, hype just isn't real sometimes. Infertoid Decatron, uh, I, this was spiking to 10, 11, and I waited and people are like, oh, you missed it, oh, you missed it. Uh, guys, sometimes on Market Watch, I hang off. If I see something and I think it's false hype or there's not a reason to cover the spike, I wait a little and look what happened. It's, it's 655 normal and it's back to $7 with multiple sellers wanting to sell theirs for 7 it's still higher than when I last covered it, but it was definitely forced, and I didn't want to cover something that I knew was forced like that with until I saw the end result. And very similarly, uh, on the hype train, it's still about $10 on eBay. So as I said, on, on those force hypes, we'll see it go higher on TCG Player, eBay will follow, TCG play, follow, TCG Player will fall first, eBay will fall second, and we're seeing that right now with Decatron. So, I, I didn't miss it, guys. I typically don't miss things whenever you tell me, Oh, you missed this in your market watch. Sometimes I hold off. Honestly, I should have held off on Flying C for a little bit. But, that initial spike was just so insane that I wanted to tell you guys, List yours lower now, sell yours now. And that's what I do sometimes. That's why I cover hype sometimes, is to give you guys the head start to be able to make a little bit of money. So finally, uh, Mithrilium continues to fall and is at an all-time low. Uh, $7? That's so low. Metal Faux Zoo is going to be a real thing, guys. If you want to test it out, or if you just want to have a Metal Faux deck finally, now that it's so cheap, 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 minus Desires, but you won't be playing Desires in the Zoo version, probably. Get them now! $7? That's insane. Try to trade somebody like 20 for a set. 
That, it's awesome. That's really good. Mithrilium's really cheap right now. So I would be definitely taking a hard look at that if I were you guys. So what do you guys think? Can anybody tell me? Can any of you guys tell me? Uh, outside of Crystron, why this card deserves... I think somebody made a bad buyout. That's my personal opinion. I have a ton of these. I have a whole lot of this card uh, laying around uh, somewhere. And I'm going to go find it and probably crash the price on it. Sorry to whoever bought it out, but... I pick bulk, that's that's like kind of what I do in my my free time sometimes, and I, this is a card that I have always pulled out of bulk, because it only has its one printing, and sorry to crush your bubble uh, once I do so, if I do so, but can anyone tell me why? I, I uh, Man, you guys, you, you buy out guys, uh, this was a weird choice, and uh, Queen of Autumn Leaves? I don't know why, but it's a collector card. I'm keeping mine. Uh, even with none on market, I'm just keeping mine. Flying C, Ultra Rare. Uh, going on down, Pot of Greed Ulti going on up. Uh, I guess so, Emerald, all the versions up. What do you guys think about this week? This week's pretty darn crazy. And again, this ritual stuff, man, it's cheap. If you've been waiting, get it now. It's not going to fall under this. This is actually insanely cheap. Definitely go ahead and pick your copies up if you've been waiting. Because uh, this card is just waiting to be broken, too. Like, Ritual Sanctuary, it topped a ton of regionals in the last format. Getting more support coming up. I think it's really, really good. I, insane. And what is this? This is at 50 cents now? What? Okay, dollar. Okay. It was said from 50 cents. But yeah, it, now is the time to go ahead and get the stack. Uh, or the, the engine, so to speak. Uh... Don't sleep on it. Definitely don't sleep on it. Uh, you know, it's still topping regionals, even like a couple weeks ago or last week. So, again, this has been Market Watch, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you guys think about all this stuff. And please, please, anybody who can tell me about Scrap Recycling, tell me why. <laughs>